Another way that Americans commonly reduce words is by dropping the H sound in certain pronouns. So he, him, her, and his all begin with an H. So very often you'll hear the H just disappear in those words. And then the same thing happens with them, but in addition to dropping the H, we also drop the T. So we drop the TH. I'll give you some examples. Is he home sounds like is he. Is he home? You'll notice you did not hear that H in there. You did not hear is he home. You heard is he. Is he home? I like her sounds like I like her. I like her. Tell them and tell him both sound like tell them. And you'll be able to tell the difference in conversation if you hear what came prior. Assuming you're talking to someone and you're talking about one male, a man or a boy, you'll know that it's tell him. But if you're talking about a group of people, you know that it's tell them that you're hearing. So let context help you decide. Give them or give him sounds like give them. Give them. Note, this is really important, the H in these pronouns does not drop when the pronoun is the first word in the sentence. Notice in the examples, is he, he is not the first word, it's the second word. I like her, her is the third word, not the first word. So be careful, if it's the first word, do not drop the H. An example would be the question, who's that? He's my brother. We completely pronounce the H in he's my brother. Got it? All right, let's practice a little bit. Tell me about a favorite guy in your life. And when Americans say guy, we're referring to either man or boy. So somebody who's male. I'll ask you some questions to get you started. Note the disappearing H in my questions, but your answers will probably not have a disappearing H because your he or his will be the first word in the sentence. So be careful with that. The questions will have a disappearing H, but the answers probably will not. But that depends on what you say. Who is he? Again, we're talking about your favorite guy. Who is he? Is that your dad, your son, your brother? What's his name? Where's he from? How old is he? Why is he your favorite person? All right. Now, as a follow up to this, I want you to find someone that you can talk to or someone you can practice with. Now, this can be a native speaker or it can be somebody else trying to improve their English that you could practice with. Now I want you to ask those same questions or similar questions and make sure the questions have a disappearing H. But the person answering you, if it's a native speaker, listen to how they answer and see if there is a disappearing H or not. And if you're practicing with another person that is wanting to improve their English, make sure you are helping each other trying to determine if there is a disappearing H or if there is not.